Lucas Media. So I'm over here watching the NBA draft and you know, I'm over here thinking that we're going to have an American go number one. You know, somebody either from the G League or from college. But no, no. The first two picks are Zachary Richeche and Alex R. Both coming from France. And, you know, I'm just now finding... They said they, they both been playing together for three years. So, they basically, they've been pros for three years. Minimum three years. And they coming into the league at 18, 19 years old. While we over here doing AAU, you can tell that nobody's playing no defense no fundamentals and they've been <laughs> look we're gonna i'm sorry y'all we're gonna have to get it together we're gonna have to change everything up basketball is honestly taking over the best players are coming from overseas the best players are coming from overseas we are doing something wrong and you know you you hear people say um oh it's boring and I, but, but look, they be out there cooking us cooking now now jason tatum and uh jalen brown are obviously american or whatever L look at the majority of the players now the victim one by the nikola Jokic, Giannis, joel and and you know i'm just saying these names that are big now in our culture of basketball but i mean i mean the, the, i'm sorry their product is just way better it's way better and you know we're gonna have to do some changes honestly we're gonna have to college i really hope that now that y'all passed this, this nil deal and y'all want to do revenue sharing maybe y'all need to figure out how to get the pros i, I mean let y'all just look the other way it shouldn't even matter at this point meaning like you know the 16 17 year olds who turn pro if they turn 18 or whatever let them go to college since y'all got this one year one year deal but it's gonna have to it's gonna y'all gonna have to figure something out and i'm seeing right now reed shepherd went number three to houston but overall i mean some something gonna have to get figured out something gonna have to get figured out i don't want to keep hearing or I, i've been seeing all these different debates and it's hard to see that the the international players aren't taking over i mean that's fine whatever if that's what it's gonna be that's what it's gonna be but then what is aau then that's all i'm saying you see um a lot of these players come from these different sites you know that promote middle school and high school ball they'll have you thinking like man this person gonna be a pro and then you know they're still they may still be pro but it'd be somebody overseas that you don't even know coming to the league and start cooking or cooking overseas to where they can translate their game can translate better to the nba than college players so i don't know i don't i don't know what what we can do you know if y'all have any suggestions put them in the chat but honestly i think aau gotta start we gotta start better with we gotta have better aau programs and we're gonna have to start teaching more fundamentals but it's just crazy i remember when y'all mean got drafted number one i don't remember michael olo Kandi going number one but i do remember he is the first overall pick in what 99 but yeah, I remember when Yao Ming went number one, that was a big deal. And then, of course, you know, you go back to high school and college going number one. And then at what? What year? From 2005 up, it's pretty much been the international show to a degree. You know, you got Boca going in 05, uh, Andrea Bargani going in 06, and Kyrie Irving in 11, Anthony Bidden in 13, Andrew Wiggins in 14, Ben Simmons, Aiden, Victor Wimbayama. So they coming, man. They coming. And then you still got a bunch of players that's not, inter I mean, that is international, that's still going in the draft and becoming Hall of Famers and MVPs and 75th anniversary on the 75th anniversary team. So I don't know. I don't know. We gonna, It's going to have to be some changes on our end. And I'm over here still watching the draft and editing this video. But Tizanje Salon just went number seven. So that's what I'm saying, man. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, y'all y'all let me know. Like I said, it, it might, I think it's over. I think it's over. It's it's give it about another 10 years it's gonna be really over but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think